Hello, hello. I have done another project. It took a while. It's a soldering station. Now, most of y'all are probably, well, some of y'all should be familiar with this kind of thing, right? But this is a homemade thing. You got a plug. You got a switch that says low and high. I'll explain that. You got a metal junction box. And I put on rubber feet so it doesn't scratch up everything that I set it onto. And this is a power cord from a parts box computer. Yay, flux. Okay. And if you'll see... Okay, you can't see. It's too blurry. But anyway, let me see here. In here, it's not plugged in, so I'm not worried about shocking myself. In here, you have connection, screw, screw, connection. What I did, now there's another one identical to it the other side. I broke this one. It's jumped with two little pieces of copper, and I took my awesome pliers, and I broke it, and I put a diode in. It's a hefty enough diode, not too much, but it's a hefty enough diode to handle the voltage coming from the wall and reduce it. And when I hit, it says low. I wrote that. That's professional scrawling. Okay. Uh, I said low. This jack here goes to low power. This one stays the same all the time, so no markings. And I'm going to do a little demonstration, and then you got high, and it jumps the diode, goes to the switch, and goes to full power. Okay, I'm going to do a little demonstration. Hold on. And I've got to plug it back in. So, let me... There we go. My lovely assistant. Alright, now, it is now on low. This is the low beam. It looks like, yeah, that's what it looks like. Alright, that's the low beam. Now, that's what it is when he switched it on to high. So, imagine you got a soldering iron in there, right? In there. Go back to low. Okay, you got a soldering iron in there, and I've been having to use it lately. And, well, you, want, you need to go somewhere. You got to use the bathroom, time for lunch, whatever, right? But it takes about five minutes, and five minutes doesn't sound like a long time, but when you're talking about, I want to get this done now, five minutes is a long time, and you tend to get distracted. You turn on low, your iron goes warm. See, that's a soldering iron. For those of you that don't know much about this stuff. It goes warm. It doesn't burn itself up like they like to do. And it only takes about a minute, if that, to warm back up. So, soldering station. This is another neat project. And one thing that I'm going to do is put a nice plastic cover on the top. And one of those stress resistance things, it clamps onto the wire and you clip it in. And that's all I got.